good morning everyone today i am going to explain how to convert the given lpp into the standard form now the first problem is rewrite the following lpp into the standard form the given problem is one objective function maximization of z is equal to like this subject to the constraints first constraint and second constraint to convert the given problem into the standard form first of all we have to check whether the given objective function is maximization type or not if it is maximization type we will keep as it is if it is not maximization type we will convert into the if it is minimization type we will convert into the maximization type now here this is maximization type we will keep it as it is the second one is right side of the constraints right side of the constraints are if is there any right side of the constraint is negative we have to convert that into the positive one by multiplying both sides with minus 1 see if you observe the second constraint second constraint is having minus 4 on the right side now we will multiply both sides with a minus 1 so that the second constraint you will get the second constraint as minus 3x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 is greater than or equal to plus 4 the second constraint the first constraint as it is I will write x1 plus 3x2 plus 5x3 is less than or equal to 10 first constraint I, I did not touch I, I wrote as it is the second constraint what I did right side minus 4 is having that's why I multiplied both sides with minus 1 I have got like this now what we have to do now we have to convert the first constraint as well as the second constraint into the equalities by adding suitable slack variable or surplus variable when we have to add slack variable if the constraint is having less than or equal to symbol in order to make this into the equation form we have to add one new variable called slack variable on the lhs side of the constraint now what i will do x1 plus 3x2 plus 5x3 plus s1 is equal to 10 i am adding one slack variable on the right side of the constraint like this i have got the second constraint now second constraint is having greater than or equal to symbol that's why what we have to do to convert this into the equation the second constraint i'm talking about to convert the given constraint into the equation we have to subtract one variable on the lhs side of the constraint that variable is called a surplus variable minus 3x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 minus s2 already i used s1 that's why s2 is equal to 4 now all the decision variables here how many variables are there x1 x2 x3 as well as s1 s2 greater than or equal to 0 this is the standard form standard form the first constraint as well as second can maximization of type as it is i wrote max z is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 now the first constraint plus s1 is equal to 0 second constraint minus s2 is equal to 4 all the decision variables as well as s1 is to greater than or equal to 0 this is the first problem in the same way we will see one more example in the second example now uh, rewrite the given problem into the change the following lpp into the standard form change the following lpp again here also one problem they have given min z is equal to minimization of z is equal to the constraint is a uh, uh, objective function is given 2x1 plus 2x2 plus 4x3 plus x4 subject to the constraint first constraint as well as second constraint as well as here x1 x2 x3 greater than or equal to 0 x4 is unrestricted here what is given x4 is unrestricted whenever the term unrestricted is there x4 is equal to we have to write uh, we have to write x4 is equal to u4 minus v4 u4 minus v4 that's why wherever wherever x4 is there we will write in place of uh, x4 u4 minus v4 now as well as minimization of z is there if the given problem is in the minimization of z we have to convert into the max type uh, max z how to convert into max type of z max z is equal to or uh, max z dash is equal to minus z is equal to minus 2x1 minus 2x2 
minus 4 x3 minus x4. What I did? I converted the min z into the max z dash is equal to that means I multiplied both sides with the minus 1. Minus z is equal to minus 2 x1 minus 2 x2 minus 4 x3 minus x4. That is when max z dash is equal to minus z that is equal to like this max z dash. Now we will see the constraint. In the constraints also wherever x4 is there we have to because x4 is unrestricted we have to convert that into the non-negative x4 also we have to convert into the non-negative that's why we are taking we are assuming x4 is equal to u4 minus v4 now wherever is there x4 i will write u4 minus v4 now the first one is 3x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 plus 9 into u4 minus v4 is less than or equal to 16 the second one is 7x1 plus 2x2 plus 4x3 plus x4 x4 is u4 minus v4 is less than or equal to 24 now all x1 x2 x3 x4 and u4 v4 greater than or equal to 0 now we will multiply and we have to convert the less than or equal to symbol into the equation. How to convert the less than or equal to symbol into equation we will see. 3x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 plus 9u4 minus 9v4 less than or equal to is there. To convert the less than or equal to into the equation we have to add one slack variable called s1. We have to add one slack variable called S1 plus S1 is equal to 16. The second one, 7x1, second equation is 7x1 plus 2x2 plus 4x3 plus U4 minus V4 less than or equal to symbol is there. Again also here also we have to add one slack variable called S2. Already we used S1. That is why plus S2 is equal to 24. Now all X1, X2, X3, U4 and V4 is greater than or equal to 0. This is the second one. Now I will go, I'll, we will the same way we will do the another one. Another uh, last one. We will do how, we will convert this also into the rewrite the given LPP into the standard form. What is given here? rewrite the given LPP into the standard form. Max z is equal to one objective function subject to the constraint. First constraint, second constraint is greater all the decision variables x1, x2, x3 greater than or equal to 0. Now here objective function is maximization of type is given. No need to touch it that thing. We can write as it is. As it is we can write max z is equal to 5x1 plus 2x2 plus x3. Now if you observe the first constraint the first constraint it is equal is equal to symbol is there whenever the constraint is having is equal to symbol we have to rewrite that one in this form 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 less than or equal to 6 as well as 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 greater than or equal to 6 this uh, the first constraint uh, 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 is equal to 6 is there whenever such type of a uh, constraint occurs we have to write this equation into the these two such type of equations and the second equation I will write as it is x1 plus x2 plus x3 less than or equal to 8. Now less than or equal to greater than constraints three constraints we have got less than or equal to greater than or equal to less than or equal to. Now we will write x1 x2 x3 greater than or equal to 0 now we will constraints we will convert into the equations by adding suitable surplus variable or slack variable like that now the first constraint first constraint is having less than or equal to symbol to convert that into the equation form objective function i will write as it is max z is equal to 5 x1 plus 2 x2 plus x3 subject to the constraints subject to the constraints the first constraint is having less than or equal to symbol. To convert that into the equation, we have to add one slack variable. The slack variable is S1. 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 plus S1 is equal to 6. The second constraint is having greater than or equal to symbol. To convert that into the equation, we have to 
subtract one surplus variable on the LHS side of the second constraint. 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 minus s2 is equal to 6. The third one is having less than or equal to symbol again here also x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus s3 is equal to 8. Now all the decision variables x1, x2, x3, s1, s2, s3 greater than or equal to 0. Like this we have to convert into the standard form.